Inside the county courthouse, the emergency management team will meet with the county judge when there's a storm or a hurricane forecasted in our area. That's our next step is to understand what they went through. What was the orders given? How did people react to those orders and bring that information back here to Nueces. Louis Ray, the emergency management coordinator, tells us next they'll discuss Hurricane Ian with the entire department. Nueces stretches from the island all the way up north to Agua Dulce. To keep it simple, the emergency management department has organized these areas in five main zones, according to how they would be impacted by storm surge or high water. We have zone A1, zone A2, zone A3, B and C. We evacuate from those zones first and then we move out to the more inland areas for evacuation. Before the county judge decides when it's time to evacuate, the team first looks at the information from the National Weather Service. They also use a forecasting software tool. HurryVac is a site that emergency managers use to kind of gauge whether or not they need to think about evacuation. By using HurryVac, the team can form a timeline and a plan to let people know when they need to evacuate. While this tool can do a lot, Ray says it doesn't take into account population growth or construction. A huge concern for island resident Ted Mandel. There's probably going to be oh, probably thousands more people in the next five years. Ray tells us the emergency management department is aware. Population growing, our constructions, we have to make sure that we're thinking about that when we're making those decisions to evacuate. They're doing this work in case of an emergency. The emergency management department asks people to act immediately if an evacuation order is called. For Action 10 News, I'm Victoria Valderrama.